Hi, my name is Akash Singhatour and you're watching my YouTube channel, Views, Reviews and Interviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this book, No Laughing Matter, the Ambedkar Cartoons 1932 to 1956, edited by Unamati Shamsundar and published by Nariana Press at a cost of rupees 5.99. Now, very generally, book reviews fall into a fixed pattern. The reviewer usually gives the reader the backstory of the book, the context, and then goes through some of the contents, um, the main arguments, and uh, then tends to bring up a few of the flaws or defects of what could have been done better, and closes with the recommendation, either a lukewarm recommendation or a full-throated recommendation, or sometimes even suggests to the reader to give the book a miss altogether. And just as book reviews have a fixed pattern, so do books. But the very uh, refreshing thing about No Laughing Matter is that it, it doesn't fall into a pattern at all. I don't even know its, it, its genre. I haven't seen books like this before. And um, since the book is so unusual, I think the review should at least uh, break from the standard mold a little bit. And I'm going to begin with what is usually the ending. That is a complete uh, re recommendation for you to, to, to read this book if you can afford it, to own this book. And that's because No Laughing Matter is a really unusual treasure trove of information. There are a couple of things that make it so unusual. One is how the, well, what the editor calls the work in the editor's introduction is, uh, quote, political imperative. That is, that the work seems to operate at the realm or the level of uh, action. Um, inciting or triggering certain emotions with the images that it uh, contains and the arguments that, that the editor uh, captions these images with. On the other hand, Surajenge, the foreword writer, refers to this as a work of, quote, serious scholarship. That is the kind of thing that is contemplative that you might find, of, of, of course, in universities, but given the imagery also in museums. And it's the way that the book switches so quickly back and forth between this political imperative operating at the realm of action and this um, uh, uh, collection of serious scholarship operating at the contemplative realm that makes the book so so unique and that makes it also so so uh, wonderful now that's not to say that the book doesn't have shortcomings it has very very serious shortcomings in fact i find it almost um, uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it, angrily annoying at times, um, but uh, the benefits outweigh the shortcomings uh, in a way that um, that leads me to recommend everybody to 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 read um, and possibly own this book. Now, why I keep talking about owning it is because uh, Ambedkar scholars uh, know or understand that finding original source material is so so very difficult for, for us. You have to visit universities and archives uh, far and wide in order to get your hands on, on sources. There are very, very few works of original source material available widely, and uh, these are, are not even accessible in a majority of libraries. And what this book does is it brings together so many, uh, so much material from different archives and sources so that you can just hold you know, a, a book of more than 120 something uh, cartoons and images uh, right in the palm of your hands. It's a very unique experience for an Ambedkar scholar to be able to have so much access to, to uh, so much source material in, in an uh, in a, in a inexpensive, fairly inexpensive paperback. Now, I'll just flip through a few of these uh, cartoons while I um, let me see how to how to get this in view uh, while I talk about it. Um, this book received a, a, an enormous amount of, of publicity and press. If you haven't heard about it, the gist of it is that the the editor uh, Sundar, who's a cartoonist himself uh, and a doctoral student, at, at least he was at the time of publication, well versed in the politics of, uh, of visual arts, has collected together as many Anglophone cartoons that he could find that captioned uh, Ambedkar. And he presents them chronologically along with editorial comments 
that contextualize all of these cartoons historically. And, uh, and then he also offers evaluative comments that critique the cartoons socially and also aesthetically. Um, I mentioned that Suda Yenge writes uh, uh, a foreword. Uh, it's about six pages and um, it's uh, very, you know, pensive and lucid. Um, and it's also moving, like uh, affective, but it's also um, well-reasoned. And the editor gives a 30-page editorial introduction to the uh, overall project. Now, Sunder's own point of view throughout this, you know, what I call magical history tour of, of cartoons is unmasked. Um, and I'll just read a portion of what he, what he says. This is from page 39, and I think in a way it gives the thesis of the, of the um, argument of the, the book. Shankar, or any cartoonist, was not quite free to give expression to his freedom of expression. Working for a wage, a cartoonist often obliges his masters. Besides, given their social and caste background, love for Gandhi and the nationalist cause, and easy contempt for the Dalit cause and Ambedkar came almost naturally to many. So this, uh, quote, easy content that, uh, that Sundar mentions is, uh, in a way, a unifying factor linking together all of these cartoons from 1932 to 1956. And Suraj uh, Yenge in the, in the foreword makes this remark, so many Dalit leaders are profiled in the exact same manner in print and web media outlets even now. So uh, uh, Suraj in some way um, brings to the contemporary the way that uh, Sundar, the editor, uh, uh, characterizes all of these historical historical cartoons. Now, I, I had mentioned uh, uh, Shankar in the uh, passage from the, uh, that I read from the editor, but Shankar, who, who's famous from Shankar's weekly cartoons, is not the only one mentioned. There are a great number of other um, well-known uh, cartoonists here, like R.K. Lakshman from the Times of India, and uh, Andra Ahmed from the Hindustan Times, and the Pioneer, as well as um, uh, cartoons included in No Laughing Matter from, uh, from uh, the, the organizer, the RSS uh, uh, mouthpiece. What I've not talked about yet is, uh, what is a cartoon? Cartoons are mentioned in the, um, in the subtitle and throughout what I've been talking about. Just, just have a look at the, the, the image there on the cover. We usually understand that a, a cartoon is a simple satirical drawing that attempts to um, comically or humorously exaggerate the, the subject. And uh, in doing so, they still aim to capture the essence of an event or, or an issue. And it's precisely because they in some way capture an essence that newspapers publish them. In, in, in these, uh, the comic element relies on, on shared experiences and uh, values and, and, and mores um, in order for the humor to work. So in, in, in the case of the Abitka cartoons, one of the, the shared values in, in, all of these, um, in all of these cartoons is, is casteism. And so this casteism is really what the, the editor comments about in addition to just the aesthetics of the of the cartoons that he um, that he works through, but in addition to those sorts of uh, comedic uh, cartoons of the comedic genre, there are also propaganda cartoons, and these aim to manipulate uh, the target audience and change their values. You know, it's not just about the shared values, but propaganda cartoons change values. And they uh, derisively exaggerate the subject. Uh, and in doing so, they aim to, to, to foment hatred or evoke really strong feelings. So those are usually the, the vilifying character, caricatures that are used in, that, in, in propaganda cartoons, as opposed to the merely uh, comedic ones. Now, it would be a mistake, of course, to collapse one form of cartoon into the other for, form of cartoon and unfortunately, I think Shamsun sometimes does this in, in No Laughing Matter. But what's so engaging about the book is that by blurring the lines between these two forms, 
you know, sort of blurs the lines between um, uh, propaganda cartoons and uh, mere comedic sort of informational cartoons. By blurring these, these lines, um, uh, the editor of No Laughing Matter forces the reader to, to try to reestablish those lines uh, herself. And so this is a great challenge to the reader as you're reading these cartoons, because sometimes the editor seems to be um, uh, either mistakenly or purposefully exhibiting a cartoon that's meant as propaganda and explaining that uh, comedy always shares the value of, of casteism and, uh, and reverses this as well. The thing is that the reader, over the course of this uh, fairly massive book, seems to have more and more and more trouble drawing that distinction very sharply. And that is one of the most genius aspects of, of this work, the way it really destabilizes the, the, the reader's um, fixed, fixed opinions. So this is my review of uh, No Laughing Matter, which begins, of course, with, with, the, um, with a, a, a full endorsement, even though I think that there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of uh, ideas here that, uh, that the editor uh, writes into the comments of the cartoons that I think are a bit overboard exaggerated, oversensitive, and, um, and, and in, in many cases just too wordy. Uh, but the fact that you can have all of this source material um, in one place, in your own personal library, uh, is, is something that is, that is really um, unique. And, the, uh, uh, and the, the rich imagery and the masterful way that, that Sundar uh, uh, critiques it is, um, is something that uh, makes this book highly recommended. So that's it for No Laughing Matter. If you'd like to have these reviews, I try to make them as short as I can of uh, books within the, um, the wide genre of uh, Ambika and Dalit studies, then uh, please subscribe. Uh, I, I would really uh, uh, encourage you, beg you, implore you to click the like button uh, because that helps get the, the, the video out to other people who would be interested in it. Uh, upcoming reviews will be uh, Iknatavad, Strike a Blow to Change the World, Ver Pavar's Baluta, and uh, Vasant Moon's Growing Up Untouchable in India. If you'd like to see reviews of these, please uh, subscribe and click that bell notification on all, and YouTube will alert you when those reviews are uploaded. All right, thanks.